Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. More on them later. Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching The Crow. This is a movie that came out in 1994 and because there's a remake upcoming and we've never seen the original, we thought, well, now is the perfect time to watch the original <laughs> so we have a bit of reference of what came before it. It's always exciting to see, you know, a, a retake or, you know, a reimagination of a specific film, especially when it's come out in, in such a long time since the original. But we yeah. did want to have that original reference to, you know, once we're watching that newer one that's going to come out this year. By the way, Bill Scar Guard is in it and I'm so excited we'll be able to be like oh you know that's that's from this moment or, or, or this is how it compares so I'm very excited to see this one I've heard a lot of great things about this movie obviously it's starring Brendan Lee but yeah. other than that I I really do not know what to expect you guys know that we are constantly looking for movies to watch and cover here on the channel you've given us a lot of recommendations that we've been able to add to our list it used to be so annoying typing a movie into the search bar only for it to not pop up and this is exactly the problem that Surfshark helped us fix you see a lot of streaming services have this thing called geoblock which means that what's available in your country might not be available in ours thankfully with surfshark we are able to change our virtual location and unlock loads of content that would otherwise be inaccessible that way we're able to watch most of the films you guys recommend regardless of region restrictions it also comes extra handy because while we're streaming all of these movies we know we are safe while surfing the web surfshark is a vpn that encrypts your online data so you can rest easy knowing all of your personal information is safe especially when using public wi-fi there's been a few instances where we've had to use public Wi-Fi in order to upload a video for you guys and thanks to Surfshark we felt comfortable doing so. Surfshark have been very kind and have given our viewers a coupon code for three months extra for free so you could try it for yourself. Click the link down in the description and enter code NIGHTS or scan the QR code on screen to claim your three months extra for free. Yeah I know that this movie when it first came out it was kind of like a sleeper hit and it was like uh, one of the biggest openings for uh, Miramax at the time. When you look at the posters and stuff it looks like it's highly stylized which I'm super excited for. I have no idea what to expect that's always a fun experience to have like i've never seen any trailers or anything like that obviously we both are really excited to watch this there's a little bit of a bittersweet hint to it because we are also very aware of what happened to brandon lee and what happened on set and it's you know it's utterly devastating and you know it's always there's always a little bittersweet feeling when you're watching a piece of art where the artists themselves um are passed away so you know we we are also braced for that but regardless the expectations are super high we've heard fantastic fantastic things about this film yeah so i'm you know i'm super ready to go if you guys want to watch the full length reaction that's going to be available on our patreon and if you want to watch these reactions early make sure that you hit the join button and become a youtube member thank you guys so much for watching this with us we hope that you enjoy and we'll catch you guys after the movie I don't think we've seen that many Miramax films now that I think about it. I feel like Miramax was such a staple of my childhood. More than I the 90s films? Yeah, early 2000s and stuff, I think. The Crow. That's such a great title. Devil's Ooh. Night, right before Hallow's Eve. Yeah. Oh, those are some sick visuals already. Yeah. People once believed that when someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. Mm. Uh. Something so bad happens that a terrible sadness is carried with it. The crow can bring that soul back to put the wrong things right. Oh, oh. interesting. Okay. The crow. Those were some amazing shots, just showing us the city and... The atmosphere, right? Already. Yeah. Ooh, what happened there? Uh. Hey, Sarge! Oh, no, they were gonna get married. Oh, no. Wedding was tomorrow night. Who the fuck gets married on Halloween anyhow? Nobody. Literally about to get married. Yeah. What's the count so far? 143 fires. They're slacking off from last year. Three hours to go. Maybe they're just slow starters. What the hell is going on in the city? I don't know. It's almost giving um, Gotham vibes, right? Is this the victim? No, it's a me, Earhart. We found a detective and you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. So messed up. Yes. Where's Eric? Just don't worry about it. Where is Eric? Look, how will you just uh, lie back? Come on, come on. <sighs> oh, she's in rough shape. What the hell happened to them? I want to know. 
You lied to her about Eric. Look, I had to. And you're lying to me about Shelly. <sighs> She's gonna die, isn't she? I hope not. Hey, uh... Yeah, he can't lie no. to her anymore. It's okay. I love this noir aesthetic they've got going on here. Yeah, very much With so. With the lighting. Mm-hmm. Wow, a whole year later. Whoa. Sometimes, if love proves real, two people who are meant to be together, nothing can keep them apart. Hmm. Aww. That's sweet. Oh, man. Yeah, she passed away. Both of them. Both of her friends on the same day. <sighs> what are you, like the night watchman? <laughs> Interesting. I'm loving the visual aesthetic of this so far. Grungy. Very. No, 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 no. Mickey, come on, man. You... You gotta put the mustard underneath first. <laughs> <laughs> There's a method to the madness, man. Come on. Right. How about some onions? Hell yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh man, don't cheap on them. Lots of onions. <laughs> <laughs> don't be stingy now, man. Come on. Sarah, she's a genuine hot dogger. You hungry? You buying? I'm buying. <laughs> Is that okay? No onions. They make you fart <laughs> big time. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. It's always those small shops that have the best food, man. I'm telling you. Uh, every time. Some gothic vibes, too. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me? <laughs> Holy crap. So the myth was real. The crow brought him back. Can you imagine? That would be terrifying though, coming oh back a year later. Do you even remember who you were? I was just thinking that. How much of that is him, right? Well, technically it's the same soul, right? So if we go by that, does right. the soul retain memories from the past? Mm. I'm sorry, there's a huge lightning storm outside and so fitting for this right now. <laughs> yes, I don't know, I know if the thunder's coming from the movie or from <laughs> right outside. <laughs> Must be terrifying to be so disoriented and not know what the hell happened. To just find yourself coming out of a grave like, and then... Do you even know you died? Right. That? You wait right here. Be careful. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's what's been happening in the city. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome how the crow is just following him around. Yeah. It's kind of creepy too. It's like it's guiding him, right? Mm-hmm. In just a few minutes, the film has been able to establish such an amazing atmosphere yeah. and aesthetic to this entire entire thing. That's it. Is that his place? Oh, I love that POV shot. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, flashes. Yeah, I think he's getting his memories back. Department of Housing. <laughs> Code violations. <laughs> Safety hazards. Oh no. What did they do? It's pornography. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jeez. god. Shelly? Yeah. Oh. No. oh. No, 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 no. Me first. Oh my god. Oh no. Disgusting animals, man. Oh my god. Oh. He got shot in the back twice? Oh my god. Wow. 
Oh, he heals. Oh. Yeah, no wonder. There's, there were no bullet holes in his back. Yeah. I was going to say maybe it was the time that he spent underground healing, uh. but that's cool. Active healing. Here's the devil's night. Yeah. My new favorite holiday. Yeah. You're going to regret everything. Oh, yeah. Well, the crow brought him <laughs> back for a reason, right? So I'm hoping he puts things right. Yes, you can. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, man. That's such a fantastically framed shot, dude. It's so cool. I love how they utilize the highlights and then the shadows. Yeah. All you see is his silhouette on one side. I love you. Say that again. I love you. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Restaurant. <laughs> they were such a happy couple, man. Yeah. Oh, that just hurts, man. I can't imagine what he must be going through right now. Yeah, there's no moving on. Dealing with your own death and the death of your soon-to-be yeah. wife. Oh, the music is excellent. I think that's the cure. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're getting the official look. The transformation sequence. Yeah. Oh, he still had the bullet holes in his back, though. Yeah, you still have the marks. Oh, oh. that is so good. <laughs> Curl on the shoulder. Yes. Oh, my God. Hell yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> hey, wow. man. That is badass. The reveal with the lightning. It's perfect. Oh, that's great. Just panning out like that. It's like the rebirth, right? That was the window that ended up in yeah. his death. And now yeah. we see him framed by the window. 18K. It's crap. It's probably fake. Leather purse. Leather. We like our leather. <laughs> Blood stain is on here. Blood stain? Yikes. Take it or leave it. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's like, that's what I thought. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool, man. I'm loving the visuals in this. Loving it. And it goes so well with the music, too. Yeah. The entire vibe of it. It's the whole feel, right? The constant rain, the darkness, the lighting. Wow. And I love how they take their time for us to relate to him as well. I would be yeah. pissed, too, man. I would be so mad. Uh, filled with so much rage. Wait, can it see through the crow? Oh. No. Oh, I think he does. That is awesome. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. <laughs> so he's clearly, clearly supernatural. I'm just wondering to what, what extent. Right. right. <laughs> The fuck you all painted oh. up for crackhead, huh? This is not the time for you to be cocky, man. You're gonna be in for a treat, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he looks so menacing. This is great. Get him. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> 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 He's enjoying this. Damn. Ooh. Oh, man. I hit murder nobody, man. I don't even fucking know you, man. What the fuck you want, man? You're about to know him now. Man and woman in law a year ago. You killed them. Some dude, some bitch, whatever, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you cut her. Yeah, I shanked her pink ass and she loved it. Oh, man. What the just fuck is wrong with these people, man? Beat, beat oh. the hell out of him, man. Oh, dude, tear him to pieces. I like you to meet two buddies of mine. We never miss. So cool. He's always seeing. Oh, He's always watching, shit. too. Oh. oh. You miss now. Oh. oh. I can Oh, you're so screwed. Ooh. Aren't we all? 
<laughs> what a oh. great sequence. <laughs> Victims, aren't we all? Wow. That cut, too, was amazing. You messed with the wrong man. Yeah. I'm loving how 90s <laughs> this yes. is. This is great. Uh, but it's like the best of, right? It's when grunge started becoming more of a thing, right? Went boom. Boom. Can you imagine that? Hey! Gather your soldiers. You're on for tomorrow night. No sweat. Is the man in? He's taking a meeting. It's Death from Final Destination. Mm-hmm. He's got an excellent voice, too. Aw, oh, great voice. Recently heard him in Venom in the Spider-Man game. Dad gave me this. He said, childhood's over the moment you know you're gonna die. Wow, that's a great line. Is she asleep? Oh. Oh. I think we broke her. Yeah, I think she's, uh, she's definitely not asleep. Yeah. I love her eyes. Pretty. Is everybody a psycho in this city? What the hell? I'm wondering where the hell they filmed this, and if they filmed this in a set, the set is amazing. It looks like a real city. Yeah, this is really well done. <laughs> oh, baby. Little girl, what are you doing in a place like this right now? So, I guess you're not gonna be home till a lot later, huh, Darla? She's busy. Go play with your dolls or something, okay? I don't have any dolls. <laughs> She's got a skateboard, man, all right? Yeah. She's a cool chick. Somebody already bought me dinner. The police. Somebody already bought me dinner. The police. <laughs> hey, so we got a whole lot of pretty vile people right now. She's got to take care of herself. Yeah, man. It's so unfair. It's funny because we're talking about childhood and she clearly, clearly hasn't been able to enjoy hers. We're closed, Gerardo. Go sleep it off somewhere else, Dusthead. <laughs> He's like the Reaper, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's I was like just he shows thinking. up and you just know you're in trouble. Angel of Death. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm looking for something in an engagement ring. You're looking for a coroner. Shit for brains. Oh. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh. Shit on me! Yeah. Shit on me! Shit on me! Yeah. Ah. He's about to! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Mr. Gideon. Who? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, that is awesome. And he's also so agile. A gold engagement <laughs> ring. Yes. <laughs> yes. By a customer of yours named Tin. <laughs> He confided in me before he ran out of breath. Oh, wow. Damn. The aftermath. It's Tintin, one of T-Bird's little helpers. I think you can rule out accidental death. Yeah, yeah I think so. It doesn't look like your usual gang crap. You're a beat cop now. So be a beat cop. Watch your fucking mouth. You watch your fucking mouth. I don't like this guy. Oh, he left the signature. Oh. I suppose you write it up as graffiti my crime scene now okay i don't like his bitchy attitude you know no i don't like it either passive aggressive little shit his intensity in this is incredible so magnetic no. 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 <laughs> wow he just remembers yeah. exactly what it felt like in his hand i love you Oh, gasoline. You have one chance to live. Look, man, take anything you want. Thank you. Take anything! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, that was easy. A whole jolly club. Ah, jolly Jeez. pirate nickname. Stop! Jesus Christ in a taxi cab! Hold still. <laughs> Jesus Christ in a taxi cab. Your job will be to tell the rest of them that death is coming for them tonight. He's the messenger. You best believe it. Tell them Eric Draven sends his regards. Is that gasoline I smell? No, man. Oh. oh. <laughs> and he loaded it with the rings, too. Yeah. Bye-bye, pawn, pawn shop. Damn. 
Oh, he has no chill and I absolutely love it. They don't deserve it. That's the thing, right? They don't even deserve the, the chill. <laughs> no. <laughs> Police, don't move. I said, don't move. Oh, how oh. is this going to go? I thought the police always said freeze. Well, I am the police. If they don't move, Snow White, you move, you're dead. <laughs> Snow White. And I say I'm dead. And I move. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he means it, too. Do you remember Shelley Webster? Shelley Webster is dead, my friend. Mm -hmm. I want you to move over to the curve there. Come on, move it! Oh, when the penny drops. <laughs> I know, I'm waiting for that. He's never gonna believe it. You know someone named T-Bird? He had a friend who shouldn't have played with knives. <laughs> You're the guy that murdered Tintin. Check it out. Bingo. He was already dead. He died a year ago, the moment he touched her. They're all dead. They just don't know it yet. <sighs> They're living on borrowed time. Yeah. Come on, get out of here! <laughs> leave it, leave it, run! <laughs> and you vanish just like that. Your energies are lining against you. Was that an eyeball? Yeah, it definitely looked like an eyeball. <laughs> it's like a ritual. <laughs> the snow ritual. The snow ritual. I got trouble. One of my crew got himself perished. Uh-huh. Somebody stuck his blades in all his major organs in alphabetical order. <laughs> what? Man. I still ain't heard the story on why Gideon's burned down. Natural catastrophe or act of God or something. Mm. It's an act of something. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Careful there. <laughs> you need to slow down, dickhead. <laughs> it's all coming back. I wish the rain would stop just once. It can't rain all the time. Eric? Ooh. Oh, yeah, he's like oh. a ghost. Chills, man. It's awesome. She's like the one beacon of light in this entire city. Yeah, that sense of innocence, right? And goodness. She was fighting tenant eviction in that neighborhood. Shelly Webster and her nice rock and roll boyfriend, Eric Drake. Oh. Oh. Hmm, so it's also a corrupt, corrupt in every way. Yeah. Can't be snooping around too much or you'll, you'll also get yourself in trouble. And don't tell me you owe me one. I owe you one. Oh, come on. <laughs> this ain't the first time this happened. Yeah. Well, at least we know he's a solid cop, right? He's willing to lose yeah. his job, essentially, or the job that he's passionate about in order to get the get justice. Yeah. It's about doing the right thing. I love how he's not weirded out at the fact that there's a freaking crow in his room. Fucking bird over there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting. He's just rocking the guitar. I know. I love it so much. What the fuck? Yeah. Wow, man, don't do that. You nearly gave me a fucking heart attack. Oh, no, that'd be terrible. It's time for you to take your bird and leave, Freako. Oh, you have no idea. Take your shot, fun boy. You seriously fucked up. <laughs> I love how fearless he is. Yes. And everybody's reaction to that. Oh. Yeah, they don't take him seriously. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Jesus Christ walks into a hotel. <laughs> Ow. And he just keeps going. Don't you ever fucking die? Nope. You put me up for the night? Ooh. Ooh. Look what you've done to my sheets. Not the sheets. Egyptian cotton. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man of style, all right? Are you happy to see me, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, you don't feel bad for any of these guys. They Not constantly remind you why this is happening. Yeah. Mother is the name for God on the lips and hearts of all children. Morphine is bad for you. Ooh. Wait, is he? He's healing her. Yeah. Sobering her up. Whoa. Your daughter is out there on the streets waiting for you. 
Wow. Talk about some divine intervention right there. Seriously, though, like they mentioned in the beginning, right? It's about setting things right. He's setting everything right. Not just his own revenge story, but also yeah. helping helping out some people. That's great because he's got like this anti-hero vibe going on. Yeah. You're wasting it. Oh. <laughs> wow. And just like that, number two goes down. Oh, we have a visitor. Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> so your body, man, you you died. You got buried. You still have your hat on. He sleeps with it, you know. <laughs> Holy shit! Just serves himself a beer. I love it. Uh, are you some kind of ghost? Boo. Took a six-story swan dive out of a window. She uh, died at the hospital. Hey, you ask, man. Yeah, that's a yeah. horrible way to go for both of them. I saw it, man. I, I couldn't do jack four. Oh, mm. wow. He can see. <laughs> oh. I saw her through your eyes. You stayed with her the whole time. Yeah. Oh, man. Aww. You really tried. You can see he cares. Why didn't you do something about it? Come on, you think any of those people in that building, even the ones who signed the petition, would talk after what happened to you? Right, yeah. they'll be scared, frightened to death. Little things used to mean so much to Shelley. I used to think they were kind of trivial. Nothing is trivial. <laughs> Nothing is trivial. You shouldn't smoke these. They'll kill you. <laughs> Helping everybody out, man, I know. in the He's process. <laughs> I love his character. Vanish into thin air again? I thought I'd use your front door. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm sorry as hell for what happened to you and your girlfriend. Yeah. <sighs> you could see the hurt, but yeah. also all the love that he carries yeah. for her. That's a great performance, man. It's a fantastic performance. The intensity, but also the humanity as well. Yeah. You have that wonderful balance, right? Because the rage is also there. He winked at me before he jumped out a fourth floor window like he had wings. He winked at you. Musicians. <laughs> <laughs> My livelihood it got flushed away and went swirling. Oh no. I see. One of the most important things I learned from my sister. She's supposed to be your sister? It's a matter you don't see the resemblance. Huh, I did not uh, expect them to be siblings. No, me neither. <laughs> Draven. He said his name was Eric Draven. Wanna relax that thing now? Mm-hmm. Boy and his bird. It's awful touching. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like you're not out of... No! Oh, ah, yeah. Yep. Yep. I felt that coming. Fun boy said he saw a blackbird, too. Mm, big one. Starting to make sense. It's the mm -hmm. same person. I'll have the janitor. Come on up. Yeah, you do that. Damn, those siblings are awfully close. <laughs> very, very close. Yeah. such a rock star wow. thing man it is. It's going on the top of a rooftop and <laughs> yeah. just riff smokes and road beers be quick come on oh well, that's a sick car it is a beautiful car <sighs> of the building up of the tension Oh. <laughs> Fuck are you supposed to be, man? Your worst nightmare, dude. Yes. I'm your passenger. Drive. Oh, this happy horse shit. Hey, Peter! He's so clueless. Oh! Oh, shit. Two birds, one stone. Stupid ass hair. You hit my car. <laughs> you hit my car. You hit my car. Faster. I hate this. I can't even call it cream legally. <laughs> <laughs> Saying cream. <laughs> I'm loving how monochromatic it all is, too. Yeah. It's just shades of gray and black. Oh, shit! Goddamn farm cars! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Can we 
talk about the action in this, like the fight sequences, this car chase. It's so Very good. Very well executed. Yeah. Yeah, I remember her. We needed to put some fear into that little lady. She wasn't going along with our tenant relocation program. Tenant relocation program? That's what we call it now? Sweep and clear into a total cluster. Fuck. Who mm -hmm. gives a shit? It's ancient history. Oh, he <laughs> gives a shit, buddy. He definitely gives a shit. Complaints. Oh, he was spearheading. I know you. I knew I knew you. I knew I knew you. You can't be you. We put you through the window. There ain't no coming mm -hmm. back. This is the really real world. There ain't no coming back. Unfortunately for you, my friend. Yeah. He got a second chance. <laughs> the best. Oh. Oof. Felt how awful goodness. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Great, man. The use of shadows. It's and amazing. Lighting. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Yeah. Yep. No coming back from that. <laughs> wow. That looks great, dude. Yeah, a lot of practical here. Yeah, I love that. The crow, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Come on. It's just so badass. It's just iconic, man. Yeah, how do you even begin to explain it to yourself? Dude, like the proof was like right there. He yeah. literally crawled out from six feet under. 200 individual blazes. Damn. Damn, is she making breakfast? Do you like him up or over? I can't remember. Yikes. She's like, damn, what the hell? Chose to be a mom today? You loved eggs. Yeah, when I was five. So what do you want now? Like coffee and cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I become mother of the year. Someone kind of woke me up. Who? Yeah. Did you win the lottery or something, Darla? You could say that. He, in a way. Never was too good at this mommy shit. No, 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 no. I like him. Oh, crazy. Mom. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, see, you You could see that they both tried a little bit there, and hopefully yeah. their relationship can start to mend little by little. I hope so, man. We just fished this out of the river. He's fused to his own car. We're gonna have to ID his teeth. <laughs> fused. Looks like he zigged when he should have zagged. Case closed. Oh fucking shit. Hey, he's just being a beat cop. Exactly. Now you need his help, huh? Yeah. You're holding out on me. Who's the cartoon character in the painted face? Hey, you are the detective. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I love his smug face too. <laughs> it's like I don't know, man. The captain's got a little love note waiting for you. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your suspension. Oh, come uh, on. This fucking prick. Misconduct. Oh, the way I would lunge across that fucking table. There is no winning. <laughs> he just wants to use him whenever he, he wants to, essentially. Yeah, of course. It's probably the type of cop that wants to say he was the one that broke oh, the case, yeah. you know? Yeah, of course. He's going to let him do the work so he can claim Take the, the recognition. Yeah. Ne recognition. <laughs> Damn, it would have been great if she also became a crow and she yeah, came back. Yeah, I know. Then they could be together. That would have been... I would have loved a little uh, power couple crow situation. Yeah. It's great how the little time they've shown us of them two being together, how much chemistry and love yes. they managed to show. Yeah. Gabriel. I thought you were dead. You're not dead, are you? I love that their cat is completely white. I knew it was you. Even with the makeup. <laughs> I remembered your song. Can't rain all the time. That is from your song, right? Oh, I love the one shot here. Yeah. Just tracking her. Where's he hiding, huh? Gets so lonely all by myself. Mm. Hell with you. I thought you cared. Yes, sir. I do care. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Mm. 
That's him. That's him. I seen him. T Bird, he sent me in for some road beers, right? And he took him away. But I <laughs> the way he's trying not to laugh. Oh, T Bird, here to you, buddy. We ought to just videotape this, play it back in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely an animated character. Yes. He's working his way back to the speed freak right here. Ah, that's what that is. <laughs> Ways and both, and now this goat gonna kill my ass next. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. Whacked him. This ghost gonna kill my ass next. <laughs> yep. They have all arrived. Watch him. We might need him. Is it me or they're, those two are giving me kind of supernatural vibes? And I don't know if they were doing that whole ritual thing and that's why, but they kind of strike me like... Yeah, I was just wondering the same thing. When someone's dead, you can't come back, can they? That's what I thought. Are you referring to anyone in particular? You know who, <laughs> man. You see him too? I saw somebody. Mm. Mm. He can't be my friend anymore because I'm, I'm alive. You want a friend to walk you mm. home? Aww. Aww. Yeah, that's an interesting question to ponder too. How much of Eric is is there still? Because mm. clear, clearly he's changed a little bit, and he's not really human either. Right. Shred it. Oh cool. yeah. <laughs> Love it. He really is such a rock star. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, maybe this is just like the rage that Eric left behind. So it's not all of him, just the rage of him. Seems our friend T Bird won't be joining us this evening. On account of a slight case of death. <laughs> a slight case of death. Greed is for amateurs. Disorder. Chaos. Anarchy. Now that's fun. Hmm, that's what he wants. Interesting. Complete chaos. You don't want us to do light my fire time for the whole city. No. Oh boy. What's the plan then? Yeah, I'm scared what he's gonna come up with next. Hey, you! Huh? What's your name? Oh, you don't feel that? I feel like a little worm on a big fucking hook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, the dialogue in this is so witty. I love it. <laughs> oh, hello. Gentlemen. Oh, boy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I gotta go. Came right to your nest. I just want him. <laughs> well, you can have him. <laughs> well. Don't get in his way, man. Yeah, I really wouldn't. Oh, this is already boring the shit out of me. Kill him! Oh, Jesus. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I can't wait to see his stupid little face. Oh! oh! <laughs> God damn. Ooh. Yeah. Payback time. It really is. I guess he was right about being a little warm on the hook. Oh my oh, you god. Coward. He's such a little bitch. Using them as meat shields. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> right in the neck. Oof. Ah. Uh, I mean, at which point do you think they will realize that the bullets are not effective right? at all and start You'd running? Think, yeah, they will try a different strategy, but. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're all going to die. <laughs> He says it with such confidence that I would be terrified. Oh, yeah. It's a fact at this point. Oh, you gotta love it, man. This is so good. Look at that. He looks so menacing. Oof. Great use of the strobe lights. It's a fantastic idea. Oh. Oh. This one died the same way that he died. Mm-hmm. It's all she wrote. Move and we shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's just toying with all of them. It's a nonchalantness, but there's a sense of humor in there that I really appreciate. Also a hint of theatricality. Yeah. Holy shit. Put your arms and 
Which kind of tracks, right? He is a musician. He has that. The performer. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. Oh, damn. You know what I'm thinking as I'm watching this? I wonder if the Matrix took any inspiration from this or if some of the moments were an homage to mm. this. The long coats, the, the whole rooftop, rooftop sequence. Yeah. Interesting. And some yeah. of the slow-mo that they did in the previous fight scene. It's funny to think the Matrix having an inspiration on something as well, right? Yeah. When it's, it became such an iconic thing yeah. of its own. Come on! Move it! Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. you're gonna be helping out? All Drive right. Drive the getaway car, let's go! Advice, next time duck. <laughs> He's the cool cop. He is the cool cop. And that's it. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that whole Gordon and Batman situation yeah. going on, right? <laughs> yes. The crow is his link between the land of the living and the realm of the dead. They gotta be supernatural, right? And destroy the man. Oh, so if they kill the crow, they destroy him. Damn. They found their weakness. I really hope that's not the case. I'm coming home, Shelly. No. It's Halloween. <laughs> well, he fits right in. Yeah. That breaks your heart when you see him yeah. happy, too. It's like he wanted to be happy, you yeah. know, just like everybody else. It got ripped away from him. You're going to say I shouldn't be in a cemetery in the middle of the night, right? Safest place in the world to be. <laughs> You didn't say goodbye. You're just gonna have to forgive me for that. And you're never coming back. I gave this to Shelly once. Aww. It's also so nice to see him, how gentle and caring he is, right? I'll never take it off. Aww. Yeah, that's the bittersweet part, huh? He's yeah. eventually gonna have to go back. Yeah. To where he belongs. He can't stay in this middle ground forever. Mm. See, the human side of him would love to stay, you know, yeah. get a second chance. Oh, come on. No, don't target her. You gotta be fucking kidding me with these people, man. I swear to God. Well, <laughs> this is just gonna piss him off even more. Yeah. It's like, of course kids are not off limits. Why, why would they be? <laughs> What is that, some sort of souvenir there from your pal? These people. Well, that's two things. <laughs> two reasons now. <laughs> Eric! Eric, help! Eric! Oh. <laughs> oh, yep. You guys screwed up. I love how he's always tethered to the to the crow. Yes. It's always warning him. It's like a different sense. Mm. No. Oh. no. Did they get it? Did they get the crow? Give me the girl and I'll let you walk out of here. Why don't you just give me a minute to think about that, huh? Oh man. Oh. Nah, fuck it. Oh, oh man. Yeah, the crow is hurt, so he can get hurt. Oh <sighs> shit. It seemed to me that our little life has undergone a rather significant change in the past few minutes now. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, it's oh. Like making him mortal again. Yes, it is. For a ghost, you bleed just fine. It's still alive. Let it kill it! Oh no. No, please no! Hi, Bernie. Oh, oh! Thank you! Yeah. Oh my god! Came right in time. Jeez. Oh. oh no 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 no! Uh, she seems very interested in Yeah, a little how too interested, right? Oh. oh! Take that! He's got better aim than you do. <laughs> yes! Just came by to pay my respects, and here you are getting all shot up again. <laughs> <laughs> you stay in front, when they run out of ammo, I'll arrest them. That sounds like a great plan. There's just one problem. You're bleeding all over the place. 
I thought, you know, you were invincible. Yeah. I was. I'm not anymore. Clearly, something went wrong. Well, now he's got to be extra careful. Yes, he really does. If he's indeed mortal again. Siblings, you say? <laughs> Just a friendly reminder. Maybe like... Like twin flames? Like soulmate? Hmm. Maybe like metaphorically? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh, he got hit. Shit. I think I messed up. Please don't die. He's a good man. Yeah. Damn, hang in there, man. This is all the power you ever had. Pity there's not more time for us. Oh! Yeah, oh. go for it. Hell Fuck yeah. her up. <laughs> is it going oh, after her eyes? Taking the eyes. <gasps> Damn. That's oh. karma I've ever seen. Karmic justice, man. Damn. Crow tick in the eyes. Poetic. Very. That they set that up. Yeah. You can have me. I won't fight you. All right. No! No! This fucking prick! <laughs> nah, man, beat him up. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> Oof. Come on, please. And it's wet. One wrong yeah. move and you're you'll slip. Oh, that's so cool, dude. Oof. Oh, not no, the ring. Not the ring. Sarah? Look out! back there with you and your girlfriend i cleared that building so i'm sorry if i spoiled your wedding plans there friend you have put a smile on my face oh this guy yeah he was the main reason i don't want it anymore mm. <laughs> Oof. oh pain. oh he can oh. transfer the pain oh, it oh hell yeah oh wow Justice. He deserved that pain. Yeah. Before. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so perfect. I love his powers, man. They're so unique. It's amazing. I need. I want even more lore. This is so cool. The lore behind it is also very well done. Yeah. I'm loving how they explain it to us. Go help him. Are you alive? <sighs> God, I need a cigarette. And a hot dog. <laughs> With extra onions. Yes. What you kept in here saved me. Thanks. Don't mention it. I mean to come to church anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Revisit the faith. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Good. I'm quoting as of now, if I live. <laughs> <laughs> Just testing him. I love how even the cop was critical to solve yeah. this entire thing. I'll be okay. Right? Hmm. Eric? Yeah, he just disappeared again. He does that a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he really does. You'll get used to it eventually. Yeah. So what now, I wonder? Now yeah. it's done. He's gone through the entire chain of command. Oh, is he returning back? At least it stopped raining, huh? Can't rain all the time. No. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Your vigilante's up on the roof. You missed it. Get him out of here. Oh, I hate this guy so much. <laughs> yeah. I just want him to reunite with Shell. Oh. Finally, he can get his peace. Yeah. Love the contrast. She's full white, he's full black. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Nice. See, now the ring is gonna be safe. If the people we love are stolen from us, the way to have them live on is to never stop loving them. People die, but real love is forever. Wow. 
Wow. What a beautiful message. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, that hurt. That closing statement hits home. Bro. Yeah, shit, man. This was really, really cool, especially for me. You know, I, I grew up loving comic books and obviously I, I've watched plenty of comic book films before and mm -hmm. the movie structure and everything, like it definitely reminded me of, of you know, the superhero origin story. <laughs> but I love the grittiness and, and how grungy it was and down to earth at the same time. And also the lore. Like I want to know more about yeah. how the crow <laughs> works. Like who, how do you become the chosen entity, right? And is there only one? Could there be more? I'm so fascinated fascinated by that idea right. and it was so unique like having someone come back from the dead and then you know get his revenge like I'm sure that story has been told before but right. with these aesthetics and the feeling and the atmosphere of what they built here it definitely felt unique and obviously having that 90s tone is definitely <laughs> nostalgic as hell this was such a fun time man this was honestly such a blast and like you said the the lore of it all it felt it felt so original and it felt so unique I loved how the crow and Eric were connected throughout mm. the whole thing and it was like the crow was like his eyes and ears out yeah. there right because like that's what we, that's a that's the saying and then at some point eyes came into it and then there's a very fascinating symbolism there which i really appreciated and another thing that i really love is you see that a lot in the 90s movies is that you know like the the villains here mm. are really disgusting just nasty <laughs> like you can just tell that they're really like the scum of the earth shall we say it's not just about the fact that they're criminals it's just that they're awful people in general and i love that they weren't scared to make them as awful as humanly possible yeah there was no reason here or any yeah. you know objective they were just vile people that just wanted to see the the world burn essentially right like he yeah. said he just wanted anarchy and chaos and whatnot so having something like the crow to you know put things right yes was so satisfying <laughs> i love like you mentioned how you know they explained the that connection the 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 crow and him being tethered in a way mm -hmm. and you know what came in as a surprise for for all of us obviously for all the viewer is the fact that oh no the crow is his weakness so if you target the crow you could potentially kill him that mm -hmm. it came in and, and the, oh man such smart writing because they did not reveal that until the third act when right. the stakes are very high so right before he gets into the the, the most important fight basically right. in the film they they make him immortal again essentially and yeah. that is so so smart you know I when you have a, a superhero or someone that's superhuman human this is a problem that they ha they have to deal with a lot actually with superman right. for example because he's so you know invulnerable to mm -hmm. anything right like he's mm -hmm. bulletproof he's super strong he can fly like what the hell do you do with superman right as a right. writer you know obviously you have to give him the kryptonite so for them to mm -hmm. do that here through the crow and make him you know immortal makes us as an audience really root for him to survive because <laughs> it's not just this symbol mystic thing that you don't understand he goes back to being eric again right and you know you connect with him more he even did a great job with the performance with seeming more human again yeah when that happened which i love that little detail man and this film is filled with those little details with his performance as well like you know it all makes sense they don't take a lot of time to you know set up his his backstory but through little details here and there like him picking up the guitar and then you hearing from a, another character that he used to be you know in a band and whatnot yeah. like you kind of get a sense of who he used to be but you never truly get to know the real Eric the real yeah. Eric Draven which is also another smart decision writing wise because you they managed to make you miss him without ever really getting to know the, who Eric was through yeah. these flashbacks and these really tense moments with him and his, his girl his soon-to-be wife and just the way that that was executed i thought was very interesting because normally you would have they would show you the death sequence mm -hmm. if this movie was to be made well, I, I wonder. I, I'm, it's actually going to be made soon. Uh, it's already made. Right. It's shot, so I can't wait. I wonder if this conversation will come up, but mark my words. I wonder if for the remake, they would do it the way that things are structured now. It would actually start with us having 20 minutes to kind of uh, get attached to the actual couple, fall right. in love with them, and then, you know, you lose someone and it's mm -hmm. the tragedy, and then you see that death. So, you you know, I wonder if we're all going to be waiting in the theater when this drops, if we're going to be waiting for that, you know, the knock on the door. Yeah. In here, they did that post, right? Like, yes. you start the movie and they're all basically they're dead and then you kind of right. have to catch up through him mm -hmm. to understand what happened so i'm just wondering if the new film is gonna you know adapt the same structure if they're gonna take that or if we're gonna start the film with the couple have us mm -hmm. fall in love then have yeah. them die and then because you know we if you're familiar with the story you'll know what goes next and then just right. have him relive it and and go through it but i thought that for this particular thing the the structure was very unique and fresh and, and the snippets that they gave us from the relationship too were very effective because they weren't long at all they it didn't feel like the film dragged 
No, not at all. Like a snippet here, a snippet there, and mm-hmm. you kind of got a sense of their relationship. And it made, again, it made you miss him so much, like the potential of what they could have become and how that was ripped away from them, that you felt mm-hmm. that rage through him mm-hmm. and you felt that, you know, urge to do something about it. Another detail that I really loved is that, you know, when he first becomes the crow, when he mm-hmm. puts on his, uh, let's say, the war yeah. paint, right, shall we say? It starts off like a very contrasty, very strong white. And the more the movie progresses, the more human he almost becomes, mm. right? And then because he starts reestablishing those connections, like he starts getting to know the cop a little bit better. He actually remembers Sarah. Mm-hmm. And so towards the end, obviously it's the rain, but it just coincides in such a perfect way that you can see the white makeup just slowly dissipating and you can see his actual human skin starting to come through more and more. I think uh, that's you're actually onto something there because they did make a point to say that nothing is trivial and nothing is a coincidence. So I right. think at least as a because, you know, they have makeup artists there. Yeah, so if they course, wanted they to retouch it, it and, and make him look a specific way, they would. Yeah. Clearly, they wanted that faded look. So I'm mm-hmm. sure that it, it has that connection that, you you know, you picked up on because he did feel more human. And a big part of that is having that visual aspect there. Yeah. And I, I love just how they used the lighting in this or the lack thereof. Right. You know, certain moments being backlit, certain moments like having the strobe light element, mm-hmm. it, especially with the look of the crow you know it's the black on black like and sometimes he has his coat on and sometimes not and like you know they have the wet hair the makeup and everything it just complemented it so well and in front of our eyes we saw him become something larger than life we humanize him because we get to know him but there were so many moments where we didn't know where he was and we were completely in the shoes of the next victim right and so the way that the crow was treated in certain moments was very horror movie-esque as in the villain of a horror movie where we are in the shoes of the victim we have no idea where he's gonna pop out from and that added an interesting distance to him that i think really benefited to the crow character i don't think it's about getting to know him all the way it's about understanding what he has lost and then he too doesn't really quite have access to all that information right he doesn't remember everything either so we're just kind of on an even playing field and I thought that was such a creative choice. It was a tough one, like it could have definitely backfired, but I think in this case it absolutely helped. Like it just turned the crow, Eric Draven, into a legend in front of our eyes. Yeah, and like you mentioned, we as an audience, we can also see that legend come to life because we we, we are mortal people and we're, yeah. like, we're like seeing these incredible <laughs> things being done in front of us and there's this almost like animalistic behavior he had in this mm-hmm. when he was hunting down his prey mm. very much like a crow i love the very little much. details like they, <laughs> yeah. they they really it's thought through yeah and i love that because there was this sense where he was more in you know predator mode mm-hmm. let's say and he was more of this like i said the symbol and he would leave his markings <laughs> and the you would see the crow on fire and it's <laughs> freaking awesome and then you would have him still uh, as the crow eric draven uh be so tender right with sarah yeah. and be so loving and you could see almost in real time those memories hit hit him back like yeah. full on like that humanity be injected back into him mm-hmm. through the memories and I thought you know Brendan Lee did such an amazing performance such a yes. nuanced performance too um, really truly not just uh, yeah. the physicality of the character which is already hard to nail to have this theatricality yeah. going on but also the emotional layers that there is in, in this performance uh, I thought it was really impressive and and I can see why this this film you know is so loved by many just based on his performance alone he definitely stole the show here he was Oof. great I love was the show at this yeah, point you know he, like <laughs> one man show here yeah. i love the um relationship he builds with the cop too yeah that, me that too. Remind, like i mentioned that reminded me a lot of uh you know other comic books obviously where you have that relationship of you know the cop and the vigilante and like mm-hmm. what's gonna happen here and i love how they establish that you know he is the cop is a good guy and he's trying yeah. to help and he's trying to do things by the book but he's gotten stung before mm-hmm. so he's got to be careful you know when the crow comes over there's already <laughs> a pre-established connection there where the cop definitely knows what happened yeah and he too is trying to put two and two together as to how the hell did this come to be how are you alive in front of me right now talking to me and you know him being the ultimate piece to defeat the bad guy i really love that man that came out of nowhere like (laughs) just the pain the memories you know everything that you put you indirectly put my girl through i'm gonna make you suffer it all in one second Yeah. And I also really love that they, I feel like nowadays they would have spent too much time on the, oh my God, I don't believe you. You are crazy. There's that always that debate back and forth, right? Where we either don't believe them or they try to disprove them. I love that it was just like, oh shit, 
you were dead. Okay, let's move on. That was wonderful because we didn't have to waste like precious 10 minutes of one character trying to convince the other. I really feel like that can kind of jolt your story into a screeching halt, right? Like where it's like, okay, everything has to stop now. Now we need a little bit of exposition and all these things. They didn't bother with any of that. They just kept going and the character was smart enough to be like, this person was buried. Mm -hmm. I don't need to wipe off your makeup to see that. Yes, this is Eric Draven. This is him. You know, it's just putting two and two together. And I love that the characters were smart in that way. Another thing that I really love was just the soundtrack you oh, get man. like it's like pantera rage against the machine and the cure and it was just it was all of the best things that just really helped set the mood and like that's something that's so vital in this movie just the ambiance the the setting the visuals the music the score also grammy Ravel did amazing in this one it was just a feast in general just to enjoy Shout out to the set designer as well for, you know, I'm sure that some of these were full on sets, but again, it gave me a very similar feeling that the Total Recall film gave me when I was looking at those sets. I know yeah. these movies are so different in terms of tone and color and color palette for sure. But in terms of what the, just thinking about the logistics of it, looking at the, the, the set, it looked like a street and almost like an L mm -hmm. where you had to, anyway, this is not to get too technical, but the set and the, the, the fact that they were huge, like yeah. you could look up and, and like the camera from the peripheral, all you see is the building continues to go up mm -hmm. and it really makes you feel like they're shooting this in a city. Great job at giving the, the city personality. I don't yeah. think they ever mention which city this is based on. I don't think they do, but like it just gave me, really gave me Gotham vibes. I like mean, the entire yeah, time and like it, it definitely gives you it's, right. Like it's just constantly raining, which again it kind of brings me back to Blade Runner because like it's always raining and it's very moody and it almost like film noir elements here and there. I think yeah, with those noir vibes, we definitely you know I would love to see a little crossover someday. I wish. Oh. I mean, I'm just saying, I wish. Imagine <laughs> like the what's in the box, but also. Batman and the crow <laughs> all together in this one city trying to fix <laughs> it. Man, that would be a crossover for the ages. Yeah, man. for the ages, for the centuries, man. <laughs> this was excellent. I cannot yeah. wait to see Bill Skarsgård, man. You got some some pretty big shoes to fill here, man. Really this does, is man. Uh, this is a very layered performance here. He did yeah. great, and I'm sure that everybody's going to be excited for what Bill is going to do. He's capable of a lot. We've yes. seen him in a lot of things. His performance yeah. as Pennywise definitely catapulted him into a specific, <laughs> you know, he's definitely really good at character work so Absolutely. i cannot wait to see yeah. what physicality he's gonna bring into this <laughs> yeah i am so excited guys thank you so much for watching this with us also guys make sure that you don't forget to check out surfshark click the link in the description and get your three months extra for free thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one take care see ya